Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Since I have completely lost count of what video this is and since I'm a math nerd, we're just going to call these videos uh, Video N from now on. Um, since I have a terrible memory and this is really terrible because uh, I think this is only like the fourth or fifth video I've done and I've already lost count. But anyways, uh, in the last video I showed you how to put together these uh, these individual 4-in-1 patterns and obviously to make the full chainmail we have to be able to join all these together into a large pattern so what I'm going to show you now is how to actually do that and the way we do that is with an open ring so you get these patterns together and really you should start with just two of them um, and you take one open ring and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to connect them together and if you can see here where I'm pointing right in this area right here and right here you'll see two openings where essentially we're going to push this uh, this ring through so you'll take these two openings and you're going to take your open ring and you're going to feed it through the first one feed it down through the first one and then come back up through the second one and so you can see there how it's connecting and then you take your pliers and you close that ring up. So now, if I spread this back out, you can now see that we've connected that into one long chain. And then what we're going to do is we'll do the same thing down here. This is always the hardest part for me. I can never seem to get these to lay down flat. Okay. There we go, there's one. There's gotta be some secret to... Alright, there we go. There's our other one. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So you can see, again, we've got a whole pattern right there and right here. Oops, and these are backwards. There we go. We've got a whole pattern here well, no, it's still backwards. This is a terrible video. You should not use this as an example. There we go. Now I got it. You'll want to take your open ring again, and you're going to feed it down through that open hole, and back up through the other side. And then again, close the ring. And there we go. Now we've got another set. And what you can do then, is then you can bring it up to the first one that you worked on and lay it over. And then you just go from there and you keep adding on it and keep building on it until you have this gigantic pattern that you can use to build the suit. So that's basically uh, all there is to it for building these uh, pieces. Obviously, it, it you know it changes a little bit with uh, with circular patterns, um, and that's something that we'll go over as we get a little further down the road. Um, again, this is you know, this is going to be a learning process for for both you guys and myself, as I've never actually built chainmail before. I've never really had a need to. I don't know who would really have a need to. Maybe maybe people at the Renaissance Festival, but um, so it's going to be a learning experience for me to. Um, Hopefully by the time that I get to those circular parts, it'll just uh, be obvious, uh, the solution. And um, if not, it's going to be a very expensive mistake. But, but we'll pull through it together. So if you have any comments or you know, suggestions or if you've done this before and you want to tell me something, you know, uh, kind of prevent me from, from making the same mistake that you did, that would be wonderful uh, as far as I can tell at least in the in the larger community of some of the more well-known coilers um, I don't think anyone's ever built their own chainmail I know of several several people that you know, purchase their their chainmail suits they purchase shark suits and that's just outside my budget for for a small hobby so um, I'm not looking to spend three grand on a shark suit so I'd rather build one myself you know that way you can kinda you can put um, it's it's something that you did yourself. You know, you put your time, your your blood, sweat, and tears into it, and you can be proud of it. 
and that says a whole lot than just going out and and putting down some money and purchasing something and have it show up on your doorstep the next day so so anyway so here's the here's i guess the official start of the chainmail suit documentary so uh, stay posted just check back every once in a while hopefully i'll post some more videos as uh, as we go along and uh, we'll see you guys down the road thanks